Hello again, everybody. This is Ryan Sowers on Community Connection. Super excited to have my friend, Nathan McDaniel, owner of Cutting Edge Painting with me today. Nathan, my friend, how are you? I'm good, Ryan. I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well today. I've gone with the I'm Johnny Cash background, but a little white and black. So if you <laughs> if you if you have a non-color, so, yeah, yeah, a little bit. But you know, coming from the painting profession, you know, I'm looking for a contrast for you. You know. Yeah, yeah. You sure. look good. Good look. You see, you got nice light behind you, so that looks good. But yeah, you know, obviously, I'm at my house uh, working from home, so. <laughs> you're, yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it looks good. Uh, I would disappear in the light like that. So, you know, it's all good. Well, tell <laughs> us, uh, first of all, you know, I know you and I, I know all about you and a lot of people do, but you guys do so many great things. Tell, tell us a little bit about your ties to the community and your business cutting edge painting and some of the stuff you guys do and, and, and all that. Good yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Well, we are a paint company, paint contracting company here in Grayson. Um, we service, you know, most of Gwinnett County, probably about a 20 mile radius primarily from Grayson, uh, interior and exterior painting, uh, re carpentry repairs, pressure washing, staining, and also gutter works, uh, whether it's repairs or full installations, we take care of that as well. Um, yeah, and we've been around since 2014 and uh, have just kicked it off really well in the last few years uh, in our hometown, Grayson. Yeah, I mean, you're... you're you guys, um, you were you came on my Marketing Matters uh, radio show. The, I can't remember when now. I think it was not ten months ago. Time seems to have blurred all together. But yeah, we talked. You know, this is years. this. Well, that, that's about maybe seven months ago. I don't remember when it was. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but one of the things we talked about there is you know you happen to be in the profession of painting and gutters and all the things you named, but. Mm -hmm on this community connections show that we've been talking about the value um, now more than ever, we have to provide our clients. Um, and you guys have always done that. I mean, I just want, you know, as, as a person who's been a customer and a person who's watched it, mm -hmm. uh, you guys do it the right way. You know, we have a lot mm -hmm. of different partners, but you know, we, 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 when we work together, we want to know people are, you know, doing it the right way and you guys do. And your growth has been, you know, one recommendation and one referral at a time. You guys just get amazing yeah. reviews. And <laughs> what do you think the secret, uh, you know, this is a marketing show, but is there a secret to making those homeowners or, or, or business owners happy? I mean, what is it about you guys going above and beyond or what do you do? Yeah. You know, I've been in the industry for 23 years. Um, and I've been with Cutting Edge Painting and now the owner uh, since 2016. And uh, just, I mean, all my time, you know, in the business and meeting people and, you know, providing services for people, um, you know, it boils down to relationships, boils down to, to how well you take care of, of somebody um, and meet their expectations and take care of, resolve issues. And it's just, you know, what I would expect anybody to do, you know, that I would be paying for. Um, I want them to do what they're going to say they're going to do. Um, and, uh, and, and I feel just like within our company, the focus um, that I've always made is just, you know, how is how's our customer's experience? And are we attending to their needs uh, truly? Are we um, attending to the issues truly? And just, you know, not one of those contractors that, uh, you know, kind of dips if there's an issue or is unresponsive. Those are the kind of things that are pretty, uh, you know, often found within the industry. So in some regards, coming to, you know, some, some customers are already kind of behind the eight ball in those ways. And so just building that trust from the get-go through that process, taking care of people, letting them know, hey, you can trust us. Um, we're going to we're gonna take care of it. If there's an issue, we're going to take care of it. We're not going to dip, <laughs> you know. That alone, answering the phone, those things, those go far, far and long, you know? They, they do. And, and, you know, I'm firsthand seeing that, you know, even when there's a problem, I use the word problem for anything, anybody you can, it, it's, I think you would agree what you're saying is how you handle it. Um, mm -hmm. Because a lot, yeah, a lot of people, people before I met you, I mean, you know, they just disappeared and it's not just painting. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different industries like that, yeah. but at the end yeah. of the day is doing the right thing, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, because that's, that's ultimately what's going to keep those customers and referrals coming. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many times we, that, that's actually turned into a win for us uh, when there was an issue. Um, because when you're dealing with a project, uh, a full house paint and there's so many aspects to it, 
there's going to there's going to be oftentimes a uh, maybe an issue or there's going to be a misunderstanding or something that that maybe just needs a little clarification or maybe that needs addressing. It might not be anybody's fault. It might just be extra, you know, repair here or uh, a rainy day or something, you know, where we need to contact and just kind of discuss things. Um, you know, those are the opportunities where we've really proven and, and found that we win a customer, you know, um, when we're like, you know, when we're able to, to, to work through those without skipping a beat. Um, and we've really, enjoy, I personally enjoy that uh, aspect because that's what I would expect, you know, and I personally enjoy, you know, walking th someone through a project um, and uh, then just being really pleased and just wow, like, wow, you know, that was, that was a nice experience, you know, so that's my goal, you know, and what we do. Well, it's, it's really apparent uh, and just, you know, uh, you know, again, just seeing the proposal and everything in writing and everything of, you know, what, what choices and what's a la carte and uh, all the services you guys offer. Uh, but I, I agree with you to that point, uh, Nathan, and my business experience uh, a lot, you're right. A lot of the best relationships ultimately have formed in different things I've done over the years. Sometimes when there was a quote unquote issue and how it was resolved, because it did, it opened different communication channels. Um, and you know, those customers and clients always remember who takes care of them versus who wants to pass fingers, you know, and, 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 yeah. and so, you know, but if it was, it, it's really as simple as that, but you got to really, you guys do, you walk the walk, but a lot of companies are like, you know, if you want to do that, it's five more bucks, 10 more bucks, 15 more bucks. And I've mm -hmm. seen people in a lot of industries do that. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's not, not a recommended business practice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, so, you know, we're, we live, you know, I live here in the community in Grayson and, and, you know, so my customers are my neighbors. My customers are people that I do life with. And, uh, you know, of course we're beyond Grayson, but, um, but that's important to be a community company as well. I mean, we, we advertise locally. People know my truck. People <laughs> see me all the time. And, uh, and I love being part of the community. I'm bummed this year that the Grayson Day Festival is canceled because of every, everything. Um, you know, next year we'll be back in it, but uh, that's always a fun opportunity just to be part of the community, help out, you know, we'll get on board um, where we can just to help people around us. Cause you know, that makes, that makes an impact too. And if we can re, you know, use our resources to help and to, to grow our own community. I mean, that's, that's a win. Absolutely. And I'm glad you said that since it's the community connection show, which spawned kind of from the COVID-19. And I think, you know, someone's asked me the other day, you know, what things are you going to do differently to me, you know, uh, uh, as it goes forward, well, I'll probably continue doing this show just simply because I wasn't using a lot of like Zoom or something like that, but you can jump on. It's easier probably if I want to ask you, you know, 15 minute interview to do than get into the studio somewhere. Um, Mayor Allison Wilkerson was on, a, you know, some episodes back and, and you know, officially announced the Grayson Day and uh, a cancellation. But in our community, and when I say community, you know, you and I are in Gwinnett, but, you know, this people listen from all over, you know, and together, as I see, you know, different states doing different things, it's just everybody keep doing the next right thing. Everybody's mm -hmm. in this together. I've been saying this in every yeah. show. I mean, every local community, you know, we're in Gwinnett, Nathan, but we all just got to go shoulder to shoulder, step to step by step. And if small businesses continue to support each other and be positive, encouraging with faith, you know, God's in control. Um, yeah. We're all going to get to the other side. You know, yeah. do you agree? I mean, uh, yeah, what you I mean, we're on a good path. I think um, I think there's relief on the horizon. I think you know, people continue to stay smart um, and uh, make good decisions. We'll, we'll make it back to that new norm. Yep. You know, it's, it's going to be a little different, but we'll make it back there to where we can start thriving again. You know, so I'm I'm really hopeful uh, that we're going to see that in the near future. Definitely. Well, you guys did a phenomenal job. Before I forget, why don't you tell them, because I know you've got, I meant to tell you, the marketing, your strong social media presence, digital media, but your uh, website or whatever, the phone number, best way to get in contact with you guys. Yeah, so if you want to uh, request an estimate and have a question for us, six, you know, our phone number is 678-571-5975, uh, or you can visit our website, cepaintcompany.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. I believe it's, uh, you know, um, C, uh, slash CE Paint Company. On <laughs> yeah. um, and, uh, and then we're on Angie's List. You know, shoot, you know, find us on Google, Cutting Edge Painting, Grayson. Many ways to get in touch with us. But again, you know, give us a call, 678-571-5975. That's 
that'll hit me up and uh, we'll be able to answer any questions you need. Awesome, man. Well, as we, we come to an end, you know, again, you, I thought of you, you're, you know, you, you do things the right way. I say you, your company does things the right way. You're, you're part of the community and, you know, for the local, you know, Metro Atlanta Gwinnett people, you know, with the things I do with my magazines, I mean, it's, you, you can't live in a community and do business with community and, and treat people like a jerk or you're not really going to be, you're not going to be around yeah. that long. Uh, You'll be remembered for the wrong reasons. You there. will be remembered for the wrong reasons, but uh, I can't uh, say enough of how much respect and what a great job you guys do. I've seen so many, not only what I did personally, but so many businesses that just have glowing reviews for cutting edge painting. So uh, yeah. we got uh, Nathan, and Michael, I appreciate you uh, coming on the show today, my friend. Absolutely. Thanks, Ryan, for having me, man. It's always a pleasure to hang out and, and chat. So Absol <laughs> Absolutely. It. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. We'll catch up soon. But before that, I uh, uh, appreciate you coming on the show. Um, okay. Well, that's Nathan, Michael, owner of Cutting Edge Painting on another Community Connection show. Thanks again for tuning in. We will see you next time, folks.